अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो टुडे विल डिस्कस ऑरकल प्राइसिंग एंड लाइसेंसिंग इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू कवर हाउ ऑरकल लाइसेंसिंग वर्क्स एंड देन वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ऑरकल डू लाइसेंसिंग ऑडिट एज वेल ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट सो नाउ दिस इज Oracle Global Pricing and Licensing uh, Price List. If you can see here, I will share this link in the description uh, as well, so you don't need to worry. Okay, <clears throat> if you see here, these are global price uh, prices. So let's say, for example, e-business and all those. Uh, and first is let's say Oracle Technology Databases and uh, Developers uh, Tools. So let's start with Oracle Technology. So we will discuss about Oracle Databases. Okay, let's assume you have uh, Oracle Database Enterprise Edition named user license of around two hundred. Okay, <clears throat> now if you see and it is uh, you have uh, rack installed, high availability. So production, let's say for example you have eight licenses. Uh, test DB four, development DB four. Okay, now here total are sixteen. So here there is a formula: total cost used into point five into twenty five. So you have used two hundred. So balance is zero. You can't install more uh, Oracle database. That's it. This is very simple. Ideally, you should move to processor based licensing, which is another option by Oracle. Uh, now let's see how. <coughs> Oracle e-business suite licensing works. So, here let me show you the headings. Here there is a application or module. Then you have license price. Uh, this is support price annual. This is metric on which it is measured, and then this is the minimum license required, right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> first we will try to cover finance. F I N A N financials. Let's say for example, this is the financials. Okay, in financials, this is few licenses comes in bundles. So you have to purchase those bundles. Let's say for example, this is bundles of five. So five users license will cost you four thousand five hundred ninety five dollars U S dollars, and this will be annual support fees to get access to um, Oracle support. Uh, this is application user right okay now you have to understand here <clears throat> this five means you can have you can give access to five users now this access can be single module of financial or you can give two modules three or five but it will consider one license since these are five licenses uh, so even if you will give ar inquiry to a user means you have given access of a license but i believe inquiry users uh, are read only they have bit l less licensing cost that you can check with your oracle uh, account manager now for example today you have five employees who are having access to financials now if you hire sixth one so that doesn't mean you need six licenses no You will have to purchase bundle of five, so you will use sixth, but four will be with you till more employees will not come, and uh, you will assign to them, or you will assign to existing employees. So each responsibility of a module assigned to any user is considered as license. Okay, so this was financials. Now you can further check below, and the, okay, here there is ex internet expense. So internet expense. If you see here, the price is six dollars, <throat> and you can see the number of licenses are minimum one thousand, and its major is expense report. So let's say, for example, if in your expense report you have uh, five expense reports, so based on that you have to calculate this. or you can check with your uh, licensing uh, manager okay and there are some other 
down modules as well okay now if we go to human resource so here the rate is 185 per user uh, or you can say per, per employee and minimum is 100 so minimum you have to buy 100 next is uh, payroll so payroll is again employees based license 225 per employee so minimum is 500 same as for performance management so minimum bundle 100 or 500 okay learning management again same but it's a training based <coughs> number of trainees okay mm, let's move to like uh, to go to purchasing purchasing is also bundle of five same like financials uh, then you will have inventory inventory sorry okay inventory management same same like financials you will have bundle of five so if you have 10 licenses means two bundles so if 11th employee will or user will be assigned then you need another five bundle of five okay this was EBS uh, licenses and you can get further details from this uh, price list before uh, using further licenses okay <clears throat> now let's assume uh, Oracle selected you for audit normally they do sometimes uh, and there can be different criteria for this audit let's say for example for a long time there is no license additional purchased from Oracle so they believe okay uh, there was no growth and you know uh, company is growing but still there is no extra licenses means they are using because Oracle has a plus or minus that they don't restrict on licenses uh, it is open so let's say for example if you have financial five licenses even you can use more than five Oracle will not restrict but it's uh, you have to um, legally and ethically bound to a uh, number of licenses and if they will select you for audit and then they will uh, fine then you will have to pay okay now let's see you they have selected you uh, they have LMS license management services what they do when they select you they will share with you a portal and they will ask you to download a collection tool this collection tool what it will do you will have to run on databases as well as uh, uh, EBS server so there are two types of uh, collection scripts I will say operating system uh, and uh, Oracle database and then EBS as well so what they do <clears throat> when you run those scripts it will create uh, files which you will have to upload to the portal and there will be questionnaire you have to answer that questionnaire so let's say for example I, as I explained in um, technology or databases number of cores it will check it will find and all those information a number of employees number of users and all those this will be you have to provide in Excel but the script will uh, uh, gather all this information as well now when you will run this OS or uh, technology um, scripts you can still view the output so you can see okay um, what is collected and okay you are uh, how many licenses you have so you can match uh, with that in the collection but uh, unfortunately this is not case with EBS script EBS script when you take the output uh, the script will encrypt it so you can't take uh, the view out of it so you will not understand okay what is what they have collected or you know uh, <coughs> let's say maybe uh, for order management they have collected uh, how many orders how many order lines or whatever or number of users uh, number of employees what they have assigned okay then when you will upload all this questionnaire and the scripts they will analyze they will send to your account manager or their uh, own licensing team and <clears throat> they will f try to find if there is any gap or no if there is any gap then they will uh, suggest you to um, fill that gap 
else they will release a certificate uh, that you satisfy the licensing requirements and uh, nothing is required from your side so let's say for example if you see this lms uh, tool so let me give, take you through it a little bit so if you see here they are just uh, giving all the details what they are covering operating system so this is details about that collection tools which they will share with you scripts so if we go down if you can see here see here so these are the abbreviations and down and they will uh, share with you the instruction how to run that script uh, which user will be used where it will keep the output all those details will be there right so here they are showing you some samples as well if you see here and how it is run how what will be the output how you will run all these details are there running the scripts you know okay <clears throat> this this file will be provided with that uh, tool itself right okay now if you see next uh, they will also share with you this file which is giving you okay as uh, data collection and security guide about that tool how it is what kind of security it is so you shouldn't be worried that okay you are running on production or any other server so if there's any issue or uh, problem can come right so this is just sort of that document about this see how how, how does it work they are they, they are explaining it right so uh, so i highly recommend you should uh, analyze your licenses uh, and before assigning new access to any user you must consult your licenses uh, because if in future you are selected for audit then it will be very difficult for you to reduce number of users but you will have to purchase licenses of course uh, sometimes uh, you use more licenses because uh, due to maybe uh, lack of information awareness is not there otherwise uh, companies normally they use they don't use it because when they buy so they can um, buy licenses as well so this was a small detail about uh, Oracle licenses. Uh, I hope so it will be good enough for you. And if still you have any question or uh, confusion, you can ask in the comments or you can write email as well. Uh, I will try to answer it. Else I will suggest you to contact your um, account manager. Um, I hope so this is enough information and you have to consider as soon as possible another thing I, I would like to mention because uh, maybe earlier you you might think okay Oracle never had audit so why they will do it audit now you have to consider economic situation as well Oracle also needs money so if there are no more licenses getting sold uh, for new projects so they have to collect still uh, some amount so why not audit F to get something from existing users who are maybe using a bit extra or something like that so there can be different reasons but yes you have to be ready you have to be as per your licenses uh, legally morally ethically so um, i hope so it will uh, help you and uh, thank you very much for this uh, session and keep in touch uh, subscribe to our channel and we will be releasing more such videos on important information. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.